Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. Today we take a look at Gears 5 again, but this time we take a look at the updated version on the Xbox Series X and see if it's worth the extra 69 whopping gigs it's asking to download. The enhancements are the use of higher resolution textures, new visual effects such as volumetric fog, and that all runs at 60 frames per second at a minimum and up to 120 frames per second on multiplayer. My monitor that I use is LG 4K HDR at 60K Hertz for my Xbox Series X and PC. The monitor itself maxes out at 60 Hertz, so even at higher frame rates, the most I will be able to visually see is 60. I will do my best in showing comparisons as the highest capture output I can master is up to 1080p at 60 frames per second as well as being compressed again on YouTube. Visually playing the game, you will notice a sharpness in the textures first hand as these are now higher in quality and used on the, by the PC in with real time lighting. The game looks beautiful. Not to say that it didn't before, but there's a sharper image on screen with more reflections and lighting effects. I'm not a tech guru, but this game looks fantastic and runs silky smooth. So, but is it from Asylum? Only one way to find out. Low times are super improved, but that was always a given, but it does feel like you are truly never going to wait for the next scene. Not a big fan of the new skins like WWE's Batista as Marcus, but it's nice if you like to mess messing around with the game. I just feel like the original look always looked nice the way it was. How about I see Jen first? I'll calm the storm before you brief her. I'm sorry, is this Sergeant Phoenix being diplomatic? You can call it what you want, but we're at war, even if it doesn't feel like it yet. We all have to be on the same page. Yeah, well, I mean, if you think it'll help, then sure. Wish you'd have been this willing to listen back at that silo. Hey, it worked out, didn't it? Listen, James, word of advice. Stop trying to prove yourself. Just do the job. Dad, I took a necessary risk. Necessary means you have no other option. That wasn't necessary, and you know it. The other new options like difficulty challenges are nice to challenge the player more but playing in the new sketch outlines was very nice and awesome to give it a comic book vibe. Overall, a great patch to increase the life of a game at no extra charge is also the best way to go. Not too much of a fan on multiplayer but the rest gave me enough cause to play through once again. That's it for me on this episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg take us out of here and I will see you all next upload.